Hello folks, in this video I want to talk about the most dirty, filthy, disgusting genre of music on the planet. This genre started popping up in my algorithm in around mid-2023 and I've been absolutely fascinated by it ever since. But first we need to talk about what I mean by disgusting. Disgusting to me is a mixture of a few things. Firstly, the music must be loud, possibly involving a lot of distortion. Secondly, it must be dissonant, meaning the melody should be difficult to listen to. They leave you feeling uneasy and can sometimes sound just wrong. Finally, the lyrics and imagery should evoke feelings of disgust or repulsion. Some examples of the music which could be classed as disgusting include sludge metal, horrorcore and gabba. The genre I'm referring to is mincecore or mince. Mincecore can be thought of as grindcore for Gen Z, although the genre was technically birthed in the 1980s. Taking the musical template of grindcore, which in itself is a raw and distilled form of hardcore punk, Mince adds an extra layer of crust and grime to take things to a new level. Early Mince features lyrics about extreme aggression and radical left-wing politics. This has slowly evolved to more shock topics, such as gore and scatology. The earliest Mince band is arguably Agathocles, with releases going as far back as the late 1980s. The recent wave of Mince seems to have started in the late 2010s, with a significant surge in young bands since 2020. Some notable bands include Dharma, Haggis, and my personal favourite, MXMXM. <laughs> Musicians involved in Mints are ultra self-aware, and the genre as a whole feels like some big in joke. The whole thing reeks of a generation which grew up with easy access to the internet. Mince is a musical reimagination of early internet shock sites, with example song names including Minced Into Mush, Endoparasitic Girlfriend, Hate Birth, Consuming Fecal Remnants. So what does it sound like? Absolute chaos, of course. As you might have already guessed, much like its grindcore predecessor, Mince is seriously lo-fi. The guitars are distorted to the point where they sound like chainsaws. Songs swing between blast beats and mid-tempo D-beat style drums. The pinging beach ball snare is an iconic Mince drum sound, as well as guttural vocals which are an impressive demonstration of the limits of human vocal cords. Albums sound like they were recorded through telephone microphones to cassette tape. To many people, Mint sounds like nothing but noise, but I can assure you, under all of that distortion lie some pretty catchy songs. Mint's core is a bit like Guinness or Olives. After you've gotten over the initial shock, it all starts to make sense. Modern Mint shows are very much a DIY affair, usually organised and attended by teenagers and taking place at skate parks, community centres and backyards. Shows involve classic moshing and slam dancing, but rather than a bunch of sweaty white guys, Mince attracts a diverse range of teenagers. Mince is the genre which was always going to happen. What shocked yesterday is no longer shocking today, and every generation of kids is going to try and take things further. And that is exactly what has happened with Mince. Personally, I love to see a new generation of young people pushing forward and taking heavy music to new places creatively. I'm sure most of you would agree live rock music has taken a bit of a downturn in recent years, no thanks to the global pandemic, so it's exciting to see kids kicking the shit out of each other again. Long live Mints. Fuck yeah! 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 